Welcome to another Shadow of War video. There is much to talk about, but we'll only focus on one topic at a time. Today we'll take a look at the classes that the Urukai and Olukai will take on in the world. We'll show you what they are and how they affect the Uruk and Olukai. Of course, most of you know that besides the tribes, the class of an Uruk or Olukai decides how he fights and for a small part also how he behaves. Anyways, let's get into it. While watching the live streams and gameplay trailers, we couldn't really find a correlation between the classes and the use of weapons. But later we managed to find that there are actually will be two categories within the class system. One category decides the weapons used by that orc or troll, and the other decides the class traits. First of all, we have the category that decides what weapons and shields they use. They are pretty similar to the last game. In these classes we have warriors, savages, archers, defenders, hunters, olocs, and maybe sappers, we don't know this for sure. Each of these class has a class bonus. The hunter class bonus is the hunter spear, which they can throw. Savage class bonus is the savage counter. Previously they were the berserkers, um, so they are the dual wielding and you can use your primary attack. The defender class bonus is the defender shield, so you can't attack him straight on because they'll block it with the shield. The marksman class bonus is the crossbow, so they can have ranged attacks. And the Olok class bonus is Olok strength. This also means you can't climb up on them. So no acrobatics. Besides this, they have added a new feature that decides the traits of the classes. There are 12 of these classes, and let's take a look at them. We have the Assassin, Beastmaster, Berserker, Commander, Destroyer, Marksman, Necromancer, Savage, Slayer, Thank, Tracker and Trickster. These classes, unlike the previous ones, don't necessarily affect the weapons and gear of the Orc or Troll. It does, however, affect their class traits. These can be divided into regular and advanced traits, and that's what we'll go over in this video. We won't talk about all the traits, because we don't know most of them. Uh, the ones we do know are shown on screen, and we managed to get these out of the live, st live streams and gameplay trailers. We'll just talk about the class and how they will play. The Assassin is the first and is a fast and sneaky son of a bitch who can throw knives. The advanced class allows him to hide and ambush his enemies and strike them down quickly. Moving on to the Beastmaster, the traits all revolve around the beasts of Mordor, from riding them to being immune from them. The advanced class makes it so beasts will not attack him but instead fight for him. One thing to keep in mind is that Beastmasters aren't necessarily from the feral tribe. They can also be from other tribes, though they have a lot of similarities. Next up is the Berserker. The Berserker's kit revolves all around hand-to-hand -hand combat. His abilities range from the terrifying battle cry to charges into battle. The advanced class reads as follows. The Berserker is a chaotic warrior who becomes enraged in battle. The Berserker thrives when damaging others. If you don't know, an enraged Uruk does more damage and is also more resistant to it. Don't confuse these with the Berserkers from the previous game, those who dual wielded their weapons. This isn't necessarily the case here. Going down the list, our next class is the Commander. Commanders are born leaders and will always have a gang of grunts around them. Their traits mostly revolve around strengthening his allies or calling for reinforcements. The advanced class emboldens those who fight alongside him, enabling them to fully unleash their battle fury. Following this is the destroyer. Destroyers focus on destruction and explosives. I know, how ironic. Its abilities range from having a pack of sappers around to throwing bombs and mines. By the way, sappers are the suicide uruks that will blow themselves up. The advanced class for the destroyer is the following. He's an expert. He's an expert. He said he's an expert! <laughs> he's an expert in explosive tactics and weaponry. Destroyer will always be equipped with bombs and mines. Moving on to the marksman. I think the name suggests the role of this class. We don't know for sure if they have a crossbow at all times, but it is implied by the traits. His traits range from shooting powerful bolts to quickly shooting them in a short period of time. 
The advanced class allows the marksman to see farther, fire with increased accuracy and do additional damage because he is a specialist in ranged combat. Next up is the Necromancer. The Necromancer is a sorcerer that revolves around raising dead Uruks and black magic. More hasn't been shown by Monolith sadly, uh, but it has a lot in common with the Mystic tribe. Savages are the next in line, but similar to the Necromancer, they didn't release any footage of the traits. It's likely that they are similar to the savages from the other class. The Slayer is an enemy that is specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat and doesn't back down for a fight. Its advanced class is the following. It's an extremely skilled fighter. The Slayer faces his enemies head-on and overpowers them with his executional combat skills. So be careful when approaching these in combat. The same goes for the tank. We don't know too much about its traits, but they generally revolve around health and crowd control. Its advanced class reads as follows. Heavily armored fighters that withstand immense damage. The tank can endure great pain and is capable of a second wind moments before death. Moving on to the trackers. His traits revolve around traps and hunting you down. The advanced class allows him to seek you out no matter what. When he finds you, he will summon reinforcements to attack you. And the final class is the Trickster. His kit revolves around fooling you, using smoke bombs and stuff like that. The advanced class allows him to surprise attack you and use unexpected tactics to confuse and bewilder his enemies. And that's it for the classes. It could be that we have missed a class, but I think we managed to get them all because we went over all the live streams and gameplay. The class of an Uruk or Olegai will probably also affect the bonuses. We saw that for the destroyer he had bombs and mines as a bonus and that has something to do with his traits. And we want to know what class is your favorite. Mine has to be the Necromancer because magic. Um, they, didn't, they didn't really show a lot but it just seems awesome if it's similar to the Mystic Tribe. Anyways, we want to thank you for watching. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch our content. More is on the way, so if you're interested in that, stick around. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and we'll try to figure it out together. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.